the dark. He said, I'm not going to hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. Yes, you, you've been waiting in the battles and found wanting, but I'm not going to hold that against you. Yes, you, you, you aimed and you missed the mark, but I am not going to hold that against you. Now, please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. God has never and never will condone sin. Thank you, Lord. Never will, but the, but the Bible said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man or woman saw it, that shall he also reap. What God is saying, I will not allow any of those things that you've done in your past interfere with my relationship with you. So I don't tell God that. So he calls us the left to elevate us to the place that he has called us to be. Uh -huh. In other words, he looked beyond my fault. Yeah. And he saw my need. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Apostle John is writing this letter to encourage the believers of his day. And I believe that they had some of the same temptations and things that we deal with yes. in this 21st century. Yes. John says, I know the kind of pressure you're under. Yes. But beloved, understand that you are already a child of God. And you didn't get there by your own works, by your friends, or by your education, or your money. You are where you are. Yes. And you have what you have. Yes. But by the grace of God. Yes. But you can't even start to imagine what you shall become. Because when he shall be, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. What kind of love is this? Whatever I try to fathom the, the depth of God's love, I'm always left in a quantity. The love of God defines human explanation. We can't even comprehend the depth of God's love. In fact, when you look at it in, in the Greek text, that pure, undefiled, genuine, agape love, it's clear that God just lavishes His love out upon us. God pours out His love in such abundance that it eventually breaks up and pushes away anything that is not like us. It's an act of God. By God. Only understood by God. As God's children, we must learn to love like God loves. We must learn to love like God loves. Our love has got to be like we find in the world. Love that suffers long. Love that is kind. Love that does not envy. Love that is not picked up. Love that does not behave itself unseen. Love that does not seek its own. Love that bears all things, hopes all things, believes all things, endures all things. This is the kind of love that never fails. What kind of love? What kind of love is this? No one really understands God's love. The psalmist posed a question in Psalm 8. What is it? The God mindful of him. Oh my God. The devil can't even understand. Because what the devil does, he keeps on setting traps for us. And, and then he lurks in the shadows to watch us mess up. Then he runs back to the accuser as the accuser of the brethren and said about, see, these folks don't love you. They don't love you at all. He, you bless them and, 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 and tell them how to give, and they won't even tie. They won't even give you a dime out of a dime. Oh, my God. Look, 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 but yet and still, they'll buy a handful of super lotto tickets. I'm going to look down so I don't get nobody's out. That's all right. I got a cup. And the devil has to walk away. Scratching his head. What kind of love is this? That God will still bless these people. And cover these people. Even though they won't obey him. But that doesn't stop the devil. He continues to set trap after trap. And unfortunately we keep falling in. Trap after trap. But something about the love of God. Keeps on picking us up. Keeps on brushing us up and tell us to keep on 
tried again. So even though we know when we have failed, That's right. and other folks know you failed too, That's right. That's we go back in the pulpit to preach. Yes. Oh, man. We go back in the choir to sing. We don our earthly uniforms and stand at the door because although we don't understand why, we know that God loves us. If we're honest with ourselves, with all that we know about this, there's a self-evaluation time. When we look in the mirror at the real us, not the dressed up on Sunday us, not the pastor, associate, preacher us, not the deacon, trustee us, not the choir member, I'm talking about the, the attitude of just a happy hour us. I'm talking about the dirty joke telling us. When you're hanging out with your fellas. Or hanging out with your girlfriends. I'm talking about the fussing and cussing at work you. I'm talking about the club hopping you. I'm talking about the tunica slot machine playing you. With your ties and off. If I hit, I'm really going to bless the Lord. Come on, tell the truth and shame the devil. You know, it, it's always funny to see the expression on people's faces when I start talking about it. Like they don't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> you look around, hope, 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 Sometimes. Now I understand what the Bible says. The Bible says, 
if any man is in Christ, they are what? New creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. But if the truth be told, and I aim to tell the truth, the whole truth has nothing but the truth. I believe those old things are on a carousel, a miracle ride, because every night. The Apostle John said, Beloved, now. Somebody said, now. This suggests to me that you have got to accept your present. Far too many of us live in the past. There are a lot of things in your past that has impacted your life. Some of those things we had no control over. But some of those things we found ourselves in a mess because we messed up. And I've heard people being interviewed and they ask, if you could live your life over, what would you change? And they say, I wouldn't change a thing. Well, that certainly is not my testimony. I changed some things about today. And today has been a great day. Amen. Some of you are like me. You would do a lot of things differently if you had another chance. But don't park that. Yeah. 